If you like this free episode you're about to listen to, guess what? I got more for you. There's another free episode, but it's only available to those of you who are subscribed at dirtyfolk.com. You head over there to dirtyfolk.com, you enter your email address, and you're in. You get the bonus free episode. I'll give you a taste of it at the end of this free episode. All right, this is Max Moosman. I'm here with my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. That's me. That's you. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to say a special warm thank you to all of our free subscribers at dirtyfolk.com. Uh, you guys are a bunch of lovely degenerate fucks, and we're so happy <laughs> to have you listening to our wonderful discussion here. If you are subscribed to uh, dirtyfolk.com, you have just the most beautiful balls. Even if you're shockingly beautiful, taut, remarkable balls. Are you assuming all our listeners are male or are you also giving balls to the women? I'm also giving balls to the women. Would you like some beautiful balls? I would love some beautiful balls. It would be, I would upset me a great deal <laughs> if you had beautiful balls. Just sort of knocking between my thighs. Like what, what, it, what's it called? Newton's cradle. <laughs> that would, this is probably a question in its own right, but that would upset me more than a dick interesting like a lot more you know, i can see it not even not even close call a pussy with balls <laughs> way worse than you just having a dick okay here's a question pussy with balls are the balls above the pussy or below the pussy are they on clit side or anus side um they're on well i could see either in my initial imagining they're on anus side they're below the pussy mm -hmm. uh I think you're into sort of uh, Guillermo del Toro territory. Is that his name? Yeah. If, like if they're on top, if they if they conceal the vagina and like mm -hmm. hang down below, you're into horrible horrible nightmare creature. Yeah. Territory. So you lift for... them up and then the vagina is just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vaginas are kind of like that already. I know. They don't need a trap door. Men love women and are so fucking attracted to women to overcome the strangeness of the vagina. That's why women's bodies are so beautiful. Yeah, the rest of the body, gorgeous. Yeah. And then the vagina, I don't know. Anytime anyone on the internet has told me that I have a beautiful vagina, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? There is no such thing. There's such thing. There's such thing. But I guess... But only if you're comparing it to other vaginas. Right. Like, there are less offensive vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks. That was the point of that. Yeah. Dirty folk subscribers. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, spread the word. As much as you dare, spread the word. And everyone will know about your beautiful balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's my question for you right now wife i'm strapped in i'm ready all right i'm setting the scene you got to imagine this right okay my eyes are closed you finally lay down in bed after a very very long day like just oh thank god i'm in bed right mm -hmm. what a day it was hard the hours were long i physically exerted myself dog tired I'm going to hit that pillow and I am falling right the fuck asleep. Okay. You are almost asleep when you rip a very suspicious fart. <laughs> <laughs> what percent sure you didn't shit the bed even a little do you have to be to avoid getting up, turning on the lights and doing <laughs> a serious check? <laughs> Okay, quality question. Let me uh, let you. me make sure I understand the phrasing. So, what percent sure do I have to be that I didn't shit the bed? Yeah. So, so a hundred percent is absolutely no, I didn't. Five percent is I probably did. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, a hundred percent is like that wasn't a really suspicious fart, mm -hmm. right? But we're establishing that it is a susp suspicious fart, mm -hmm. and so in this case, suspicious means like it. It either, like, you either felt the butthole do that, like, oh no clench, mm -hmm. or, like, it just sounded wet. 
right either or okay yeah any because this is where the percentage comes in right because like there's a range of farts you could have experienced mm -hmm. because you know if the butthole clenched that hard if you have like a real problem and you go to sleep anyway like you're still thinking that you might shit the bed oh we, got, we just got another free subscriber to dirtyfuck.com <laughs> we have our npr voices on because we have a in an infant an infant sleeping not yep. too far away yeah other side of the house uh anyway back to butthole shitting back to butthole, butthole shitting in parts bed. um <laughs> i'm doing my best to provide for you baby <laughs> um okay so i feel extremely called out here and called to reveal myself as the disgusting monkey that i am <laughs> and uh let me just emphasize uh Max just mentioned the sleeping infant. Uh, I am a, a new mom and the sleep is lacking. I'm, uh, th the idea of a nap, like, turns me on more than almost anything. <laughs> um, so in this scene you've described where I am that tired, I'm finally getting to bed. If I, if there is any percentage where I think I might not have shit the bed, uh -huh. I'm not checking. <laughs> Any like, percentage. 99% like sure you shit the bed. 99.9% <laughs> sure you shit the bed. If I can make any reasonable justification that I didn't, because here's my thing. Okay, thinking. what's a reasonable justification? Is this like a reasonable doubt? If I don't feel it squish. Okay. It, and I also feel like there's a difference... I haven't shit myself enough to know, okay, but nice I, feel, cover. I feel like there's a difference in smell between a nasty fart or like, I just took a shit. Okay. Is smell your number one indicator that makes the difference? No, definitely like sensation. If I feel something like wet and squishy, I have to get up and take care of it. Okay. So if you take a fart that like is not, let's say it's if... Zero is not suspicious and 10 super suspicious. You take a two fart that has a minute long 10 smell. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just dozing? Are you just going peacefully to sleep in that situation? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Here's here's some of my thinking with it. Like That's dangerous territory because a, one, a turkey just slip out. Okay, but let's define danger here. You're dealing with a mess that sucks to clean up, but if you shit the bed, uh -huh. you're cleaning it up now or later. Maybe it sucks marginally more to clean it up later, but probably not. If you don't feel it, like, it's not getting through the sheet. It's not getting through the top cover, so you can deal with it in the morning after you've had a nice rest. I feel ya. I hear this, but allow me to lend my perspective Please to do. this. It feels embarrassing to shit your pants. It feels more embarrassing to shit the bed. Like, you have to live with yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> to me, personally, shitting the bed and then sleeping in it and, like, rolling in it and being, like, having shit on me and having been in my own shit for eight hours after the age of four... <laughs> um, is something I'm going to know about myself forever. And that's really going to bother me. And then inevitably I'm going to tell somebody. And I, I can't imagine facing up to the look I would get. Because the question they're going to ask is, how drunk were you when this happened? that you were a grown adult and you slept in your own shit for an entire night. You were really tired. So probably let's call this a good sleep, <laughs> right? I'm going to have to, this, they're going to say, were you drunk? And I have to look at them and say, no. <laughs> and that's going to end that friendship and probably all the friendships for the innumerable people they're going to tell that to. See, that's going to be who I am. I feel it's a, a secret that, I could, I could solidly take to my grave. I come from good lion stock. <laughs> I, I, 
<laughs> but you don't think that's going to be in your head every time someone pays you a compliment you're not going to be like i slept in my own shit oh no you bury it deep down <laughs> deep 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 down <laughs> someday and our 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 child is toasting us at our 25th anniversary and you're just like i slept on my own shit <laughs> see the okay i i recently uh listened to 1984 and i feel like the process is very useful here um of like, trying not to commit thought crime uh -huh. you you get just the little flicker of a thought and you just shut it the fuck down before it can cross your face before it can flicker in your eyes sure no, i can respect that yeah i feel like my answer to this question is 30 percent if okay if so it's, if it's above if i am more than 30 percent concerned that i shit the bed no matter how tired i am i'm getting up mm -hmm. no matter how tired I'm getting up and checking. Um, but well, 29% okay, I'll, I'll be extra you go back honest because I feel like... Oh, excuse me. I feel like I'm putting you in a bad spot. <laughs> between... If I'm that tired. Mm -hmm. Between 30 and 70%. 70% I'm just getting up. If and, you're 70% sure you shit the bed. Yeah. Yeah. But between 30 and 70, I'm putting a finger in my butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm giving a, a feel and a sniff to see if there's that is fascinating. Shit there. Okay, because for me, I'm I I learn so much about myself doing these questions with you. <laughs> for me, that's worse than sleeping in my shit for eight hours. Absolutely not. Because it's insane. just my butt. That's, a, that's insane talk. If sleeping in my shit for eight hours. It, it's just my butt. No, it's not. You don't sleep still. But, I, okay, I have... Here's a difference. Lately, I used to sleep naked. I don't anymore. I at least wear panties to bed. Uh, you sleep naked. So for you, it would truly get everywhere. Yeah. For me, it's likely contained to the butt. And I guess the bits. Which isn't great. But... Like, acknowledging that that's not great. The idea of deliberately putting my hands that I do things with, that my infant son puts in his mouth, uh -huh. that you tenderly kiss and suck on when we're getting nasty. Is this a long way of trying? you trying to say you don't pick your own butt? Not like the whole. Not if I think there's shit there. Well, the point is to discover if there's shit there. If there's shit there, you get up. I right, would, but, then no you're, but then you're getting up with I, shit on your hands. To wash your hands, to clean up. How are you going to clean it up in the first place? And you you peel off the layer. Do you, some, you, get, do you have some magic thing that doesn't involve your hands to clean your asshole? A towel as a buffer? Not directly my skin and... And like getting under my fingernails. Now you're just getting into lies. What towel? What towel are you using to wipe up your own shit? If I had to pick a towel to wipe up my own shit, there is a purple towel in with our dog Sam's belongings that we use to to towel him off when it's wet outside. You cr how much of a shit did you take? I'm I'm really you're digging yourself into a hole here because like what I'm talking about in any amount of percentage here. Is like it got trapped in the butt cheeks. You know if you shit, if you full on took a shit, <laughs> this is not a question. And you do this every day. Like you wipe up with your hand with toilet paper. Yes, and then there's you a wash buffer. your hand. Yes. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not going to scoop it out with my hand. I'm going to go in the bathroom and use toilet paper. Okay, describe in precise detail your test and how the finger test works. Okay. Easy peasy, right? Take the blankets. I'm a side liar. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I take my left hand and I flip the blankets so they're off my butt. So now I have exposed butt, mm -hmm. right? Because in any case, you don't want the blankets getting any more involved than they already are. Yeah, they don't deserve that. Okay. Left hand, right? Middle finger, probably. 
it's important mm -hmm. but middle finger right no I, I feel that if i was gonna do it i'd pick the middle too yes <laughs> okay uh gently tap tap tap, tap on the butthole tap tap just but don't you have to like peel your cheeks apart to access the butthole not really my butt's not that deep i have a deep butt okay but you could just use one side of your thumb to peel. You're not going to have shit up there. If you do, you know. I just, that's, I'm assuming yes. that if uh, we, you have we shit agree. way up at the top of your butt. My number one qualifier for like being sure that I shit is the sensation. Right. Okay, so, so. get in there. Tap, tap, tap. We just got another new subscriber to the Dirty Ding Talk. Ding, ling, <laughs> Ding, ling, ling. Thank you very much. You're so lucky. This is what you're going to be hearing very soon. You don't know it yet, but new mm. subscriber, this is exactly what you're going to be hearing. Coming to your ear anyway, holes. I'm tapping my butthole. <laughs> tap, tap, tap with knock, my knock. left middle Who's finger. There? Just gentle. Uh huh. Da, 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 right? Like you're, uh, uh, like you're tasting a sauce. Don't want to be invasive to the sauce. <laughs> nice mole. <laughs> like a soy sauce. Right, little tap. Uh -huh. Okay. So what are you feeling for with the tap? Nothing. Mm -hmm. If you do it right, you don't actually feel anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you're trying to see if there's anything that's going to cling down there. Mm -hmm. Pull the middle finger away. Mm -hmm. Up. Two inches from the nose. First sniff. Nothing strong. You get the half inch from the nose. Mm -hmm. You do another sniff. If it's anything but stale butthole, like old, old, just the ghost of butthole, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You go back to sleep. Long day, hard day, okay. right? I'm going to pick my butt that much in my sleep, involuntarily, <laughs> not knowing. <laughs> Like, this is, if we we're being honest, this is nothing new. I walk through most of my life with this much butthole on my body, on my hands, probably at all times. You do too. Don't look at me like that. Everybody does. I don't care who you are. The butthole's everywhere. Okay. If there's my some, eyebrows are so high on my if, face right if now. If there's something there, if there's a strong smell. Now, the blanket's already off of me. It's isolated. Left hand, middle finger. Mm -hmm. all right slide out of bed mm -hmm. right because that's my side a slide if i was on the other side of the bed I'd do the exact opposite mm -hmm. you slide out of bed keep that hand raised right good mental key reminder mm -hmm. right now you get your right hand open the bathroom door with your right hand go in the bathroom turn the bathroom light on right hand turn the faucet on right hand pump the soap right hand Soap on both hands, wash the hands, dry the hands, toilet paper, wash the hands. I, I feel like this is just like, this practically, this is like a manual that comes this with being is, a human. Okay, this is a delicate ballet you describe. How many times in your adult life would you say you've performed the butthole check? Like per month? <laughs> <laughs> How many times do you have I might have shit the bed farts? Oh. <laughs> I mean, not infrequently. How many per month? Mm, it's not guaranteed to happen in every month, but yeah, one a month, 12 times a year, might have shit the bed fart. I feel like I have more anus control than you do. Yeah, my anus control isn't great. <laughs> You've spent so much time in your life flexing your ass cheeks to your anus. That's an inside joke. No one's going to understand that. <laughs> Max has something called the impenetrable butt wall. Yeah, he's proud of it. Yeah, which uh, Catholicism has bred into Oh, yeah, you. let's be clear. The poop isn't getting out the butt cheeks. Never. No. It couldn't. No. It's trapped in there. <laughs> <laughs> But all that butt cheek flexing has made your asshole weak. <laughs> it's possible. Whereas my ass jiggles and claps, not a whole lot of flex to it at all. But my butthole, it'll clamp. Yeah. But my know, butthole just, is a fucking vice. Also, this just seems obvious to me. What seems the, obvious? Th this process. So my answer, to go back to it, is 
the 30 to 70 range is this test mm -hmm. above 70 is getting up for sure but most of that goes back to i think my uh early 20s late teens mm -hmm. i've lived like an animal before i have like lived in heaps of garbage and surrounded and i i have certain things that like i can't backslide so no matter how tired i am if it's above 30 percent like it has to be investigated mm -hmm. because to me like if i don't do that then like who god only knows like what my life looks like a week later I can see that, yeah, the, the slippery slope argument. Yeah. I, yeah, I guess I've just spent enough of the last few months with uh, with feces being, like, sprayed at me in a way that seems deliberate by my beautiful <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it seems like an attack. Uh, but I think my... My shit sensitivity has gone down. <laughs> and it wasn't that high to begin with. <laughs> well, as the person who shares a bed with you, I'm going to say uh, maybe, you know, raise that standard a little bit. Maybe <laughs> shake your butthole less often. Well, why? I'm doing the right thing. And then you reach around and you snug me close to you and your you answer, tweak my nipples. To be nipples. clear, what you're like, <laughs> Miss High Horse is 99.9% .9 I ain't even checking. <laughs> like, look, do, like do, you, do you still feel judgy? Miss 99.9%? Fucking, I don't give a shit. I don't care at all. I don't care. What's the big deal if I'm sleeping in my own shit and rolling around the covers? You just watch them? And then you want to look at me and judge my method of anything above 30%, I am doing a well thought out, considerate, get shit in as few places as possible check and dragging my tired ass out of bed. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I think that wraps it up. I think that's good. Thank you, Harper, for your answer. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Dirtyfolk.com. If you're listening to this right now, you probably already know, and you're probably already there. Thank you very much. What's your answer to this pressing question? My NPR voice is back. This pressing question. That's not NPR. That's like, I don't know, old Canadian radio. My my accents aren't great. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's NPR, I guess I just have to pretend like I don't care that much like i'm a millennial who's very uh confident in my own intellect i think to do an npr voice you have to speak as if you're talking to your sister about the divorce you're planning that your husband doesn't know about and he's in the next room mm. let me try that on for size mm. yeah that Oh, this does feel NPR. This feels very NPR. Yeah. I think I'll just have to take the kids. It'll be a long fight. This is NPR. All right, as promised, here's a free taste of the bonus episode that you'll only get as a subscriber at dirtyfolk.com. You're going to take a full load hot out of the dick of a man who hasn't had sex or masturbated for two weeks in the ear or up the nose. In either case, the dick hole is pressed firmly in the orifice and you are unable to pull away. Okay. I know my answer. This is a bad one. Head over to dirtyfolk.com and sign up right now to hear this whole bonus free episode. D-I-R-T-Y-F-O-L-K dot com.